that would see passenger pods move through a partial vacuum in steel tubes, addressing the two key factors that slow down conventional vehicles, friction and air resistance. Magnetic levitation uses two sets of magnets, one to repel the train from the track and lift it upwards, and the other to move the floating train along the track at considerable speed with reduced friction. The second principle is the use of a low-pressure, vacuum-sealed environment. By removing most of the air from the tubes and having no contact with the ground, the pods face little to no resistance as they move. Such an environment enables the pods to reach speeds of over 760 miles per hour using very little energy. By virtue of being in a tube, the system is protected from the weather and can operate in almost any climatic conditions. The advantages of Hyperloop are considerable. Portals are planned to be located within inner city areas with easy links to existing transport infrastructure. A Hyperloop system requires very little energy to propel pods through its tubes, as the vacuum environment poses little resistance. As such, the systems could be powered by renewable technologies such as solar and wind, offering a considerably cleaner alternative to air travel.